in your life. Views right. expressed in the following show are for entertainment purposes only. They're not exp not necessarily the views of Twin Galaxies, HD Films, or any other affiliates. Ladies yes! and gentlemen, welcome to Settle Out on the Screen for October, October 9th, 2015. 9. I am Michael Soroka, along here with Mike Janae yes. and Nick Houselander. Back. Welcome back, back Mike. Baby. Hey, thanks. Good to be back. Is this yes. an everyday thing? Totally. Yes. I quit. <laughs> I quit. I'm... Yes. Just Mike. Yeah. So you're both. Yeah. Yeah. All um, right. This is the commentary show about Galaxy's Database, World Record Chasing, and pretty darn awesome festivals. Yes. Twin Galaxies Festival last week, pretty uh -huh. much. Got to talk about that a lot. Finally, a competition under the Twin Galaxies belt in the next five years. Cool. Um, so we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about that good stuff. So how you guys been? It's been like two weeks and then like year and a half. Months? Yeah, eighteen ish months. Do you play video games occasionally? You play more than he does, though. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't actively hate them, so <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't go out of his way to. That's true. I spend more time not playing video games, but still talking about them. Video yeah. Games. And actively talking about how I don't yeah, play. I them. spend more time watching other people play video yeah. games. <laughs> yes, I enjoy that. Now that show. I love. That I love. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll get to the maintenance because we got quite a few. These aren't the, all the world records um, for Twin Galaxy world records for the ninth. Uh, we got about twelve of them. These aren't all of oh, them, wow. but here we go. Cool. Heavy load tonight. Come on, click it. There, oh, we, there go. we go. We got uh, Sean Vincent. A settle it on the screen regular here from Sacramento, California. Nintendo 64, Bust 99, PSC, win contest points. It would be bad if it was like contest points. Uh, 62 million, 300 So congratulations, Sean. Another record. That's great. Got it. <laughs> oh. Eric, read the next one. Uh, I got. We got a crash system here. We got a crash system. What? We're still live. No, I know. Our microphone's we live, but our, our video feed is gone. Cool. Everything's yeah. super red right now. Yeah. Who broke it? Probably Joe and Twin Five Three. Yeah. That, that's fine. Uh, totally Three. Hey, hey. Point fingers, but it was totally Joe. <laughs> hey, it's th really choppy hey, on my end, so maybe it's my fault. Probably. Could be. I don't know. Well, wait. Blame Peter. Do the, the hand you right? put gas in the internet machine? Oh, crap. Yeah. I put E85. And, <laughs> I mean, they say that you know, it gets better mileage, but it's really bad for the machine. Yeah. So. <laughs> Please load everything. Please load everything. <laughs> we, I wish we were drunk. I haven't had time. I know. <laughs> it would be nice to be drunk right now. Yeah. That, that just like... How could I be drunk already? Good. There we go. I hey, think we're we're good. Hey. hey, we'll do it for editing purposes, too, so I don't have to edit more. <clears throat> World Records for the week of October 9th, <laughs> 2015. Well, we got, uh... Sorry. Sorry. No, that's cool. sorry. Oh, sorry, Nick. No, that's cool. Wow, we're just, we're just in a on point. It's all big my fault. bundle. Yeah, baby. It's all my fault. World Records, there man. Is this it? We good? All right, we'll, we'll do I it again. Think, World yeah, Records for the week of October 2015. Do it again. Deja vu. All right. We got uh, Sean Vincent, a settle on screen regular here, uh, Sacramento, California. Nintendo 64, Bust a Move 99, NTSC, win contest points, 62,356,600. Congratulations, Sean. Yet another Bust a Move record. If he isn't the Bust a Move champion in everyone's minds now, it should be continuing. As you at the tournament this past weekend, I know, Mike, you met him and he didn't he knock out like a 23 million point score? Yeah, in I, the I, first try. I, I recognize him in his Nintendo white shirt, white hat. You know, kind of get up, and um, what happened is uh, he was sitting there beating Puzzle Bob World Record. He wasn't recording, but something like 24 million, and it was just that's like, so awesome. wow, that's crazy, dude. His his motto is actually never record. Yeah, because that's, that's why he, that's why he has a world record. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. All right, all right, Jesus. all right. Back to you, Mark. All, all right, Mike. All right, we've got oh. Paul Ressi from Linwood, Washington. A uh, first timer on the set on the screen, I believe. 
Oh, that thing's dead. Cool. Maybe. Great All game. Right. Bucky O'Hare, 195,500 points for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Sweet. Yes. Yeah. It's going, Paul. Um, Putting that rabbit to work. Congratulations yeah. to Michelle Ireland and Matthew Miller. Team Mayhem, as they like to call themselves, in New Jersey <laughs> on Nintendo oh, Entertainment hey, yeah, System. Team That's right. Team scores are a lot more fun. Ten. Oh, yeah. Way more yeah. Yeah. 2,975,250 points. It gets a uh, kill screen attaboy for, uh, you know, our zookeeper thing. Cause oh, awesome yeah. job. It is an inaugural score, but the idea is to encourage competition. And that is still a good score. Um, they, they've done this in the past. So congratulations to them. Sweet. Nice going, you guys. Proud of you. Yeah, proud of you, Father. Uh, we got Andrew Mee. Real UK. Android Hill Climb Racing. Hill Climb Racing. Why would you want to race up a hill? That sounds horrible. <laughs> Mini bike, haunted distance, haunted especially distance. when they're. I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't two, watched any of those yet. What is the point of hill climb? Go as far as you can. Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. What? What does that mean? You just press is the phone a lot of times or what? Well, you got to press the phone a certain amount of times so you don't flip over. There's a gas brake button. You you flip over pretty good. So. Yeah. It's like a moon lander situation. You're yeah. Feathering a throttle at some point. It's oh, free. Moon lander. Okay. That it's a free about. game. You can right. check it out yourself. Yeah. But uh, Andrew's score is 2,326. Cool. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> oh. Gerard's son has not posted anything in a while. No. Congratulations to Craig Gallant from Charlottetown. Prince Edward, Canada. Got some scores here on the Wii U. Uh, Ice Spinners, 48 points. Definitely looks like a fun game. If yes. I had more time, I'd buy the game, but... You won't. I won't. Thanks to Fallout 4. <laughs> I'm not going to play anything else. <laughs> and in television. Heard they're coming out with new games for television. They are. No, I, they, that's what I heard. Talk the... to Keith Robinson at the Twin Galaxies Festival. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah, definitely. It's quite it's exciting news. Well, they said Xbox Four is just gonna be in television. So. Yep. No internet. They got rid of it. <laughs> We've got Jose Ramos from nowhere, from no location. Man without a land. Mystery man. Uh, he's doing uh, main Galaga Whoa. points, marathon, and looks like twenty million points on the nose. Damn, that's crazy. Because yeah, it's they, they just you know does it cap? stop. No, it just stops it. As I, I, you played, played for, for 11, 11 and a half, half hours. Okay, wow. Yeah. Only used three ships. Oh, that's impressive. That's yep. a long time. So I can't do anything for 11 and a half That beats Krogman's score. On the that is game. really hard to do. Just a lot of play. Whew. A lot of play. Anybody who's ever played a game where you only have three lives for more than an hour or so knows how hard it is to not lose focus for more than a second or two. It's yeah. not that, easy. <laughs> 11 That's hours is pretty cool. Damn. I played Grievous for five and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. I went crazy. Like, How many lives did you have? What's up? Do you have, uh, I think it's but about But did you have extra yeah. lives? Did you only have three lives the whole game? The, the, the gentleman who got that world record, um, you get a world record on Galaga every 70,000, but once you get to a million... They don't reward you any more lives. Mm -hmm. So it's about 25 out of 26. Don't quote me. It's on the internet. Um, he only used three well, lives. Well, that's a different story, Mike. And I should be quiet. <laughs> that's fine. No, that's fine. No, you're fine. No. Uh, congratulations to Ronald Toth the third from Orlando, Florida. Nice. Uh, Sega Genesis School. Cool spot. Very fun game. With the score that I once had. 315,000. 830 points. That is kind of a it's a grueling game to get all those points. I so remember when we got to him game when we were kids. <laughs> what kind of what crazy world do we live in where like a Seven Up promotion yeah, game is still being actively played? Like <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, how come we don't have any Noid? Run? Yeah, where's the Noid? Well, no, 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 those are no. We read those like about six months ago. <laughs> yeah, we read oh, yeah. oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Awesome. I'm sure. That's I a good game. Sure. Noid game. It is a fun. Game. Uh, we got uh, who? What is that? What do you think that is? Clay Karjewski. There we go. See, See oh that's why Mike God. needs to be back. Absolutely. Mike and Josh need to be back. You finished it. Strong you Polish it. name. Uh, I think. <laughs> no, <laughs> what else would I don't know. know. Anyway, Better Sega Master System. System. The game is Hang On, NTSC, points level 3, 1,700,010 points. Have you 
to get that extra ten in there. Nice. Yeah, had to. Very malleable score there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got David Jury from <laughs> Oakland, California. Haven't missed it. Nope. <laughs> we got from the MAM. We got Black Widow points. Marathon, 506,750. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Nice that is not an easy one to do in MAM, if you, especially if you don't have two joysticks or if you're not really good with the whole one joystick and two uh, four buttons maneuver. Crazy. I, I don't play games like that. I'm not good no. at all. No. That game's really hard when you're not good at video games. That's like, like, that's oh, a lesson yeah, for life. Kid. If, you, if you're not good at then don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> Role models here. Oh, uh, you're actually I was talking like more about the next... two joystick setup, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Um, <laughs> yeah. 27,978 points. That's a uh, good score. I know he wants to push it higher, but he just wanted to put a score up so we can Get the competition moving along. Yeah, that's yeah. the game he did on the etch sketch right? No, Nick, <laughs> you don't even... You've done it though, right? One more question. Yeah. Which one was Mike in the picture we just saw? Uh, uh, thanks. Okay, I was just, I was just wondering. Are you These wondering? are all good yeah. questions. Yeah. 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 Good question. <laughs> the viewers are stupid <laughs> questions. Just stupid people. Man. We got uh, Chris Bidwell from Columbus, Ohio, Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo Campus Challenge. Oh, 91. Wow. Mm -hmm. I vaguely remember 1991, which is weird because I was 10. Uh, points, tournament settings, 11765000 Congratulations, Chris. Yes, you did it live at a gaming convention. I don't know where, but uh, I did actually catch part of it. Oh. And it, it's it's pretty cool to see him go through the first level. Pinbot, if you, in Pinbot, if you just hit the right, uh, what do you call it, the skill shot. Uh -huh. um, if you do the skill shot, you get the 100000 oh, okay. and then you go into oh, Dr. Mario. You know what I was expecting you to say? Yeah. If you hit the skill shot, you get $11,765,000. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. It was Great. the quickest score ever. It was like eight seconds. But nice going, Chris. Yeah. Well, congratulations to him. And then it is official now. Yes! Um, Yay! <laughs> nice picture! Yes, Mike! I, I, somebody else put it on my Facebook about four weeks ago. Oh, that's and beautiful. I just wanted to save it for this. Um, so 1,170,000. Yeah. Well, wow. start off. One million one hundred seventy thousand five hundred points for Mr. Wes Copeland. Nice. Uh, official Donkey Kong World Record hurdle. Nice yes, us. we know about that. Robbie Blake, Robbie Lakeman beat it four hours later. Now that one's in submission. Robbie finally had yeah. time, but it was nice for him to give Wes a little time to be officially on <clears> top. <throat> and uh, we'll talk about it. Maybe J uh, Jace will talk about it a little bit more because I had to leave the Twin Galaxies Festival. Oh. But Wes Copeland and Robbie Lakeman played the. Um, I don't want to say hack, but the modified ROM uh, editions of Donkey Kong that doesn't have a kill screen. Mm -hmm. Now, they did not beat the 3.1 million. I was going to say, they're approaching Steve Sanders' record. They did not right? beat it, but I, I think, I, okay. uh, don't quote me, go to the website. I think it's about 1.7 million. Nice. It might have been higher. 2.2. Uh, that might have been Thank you, Don. Dang, Don, that's Don, amazing. Don, which one are you in today? Which what? Yeah, we're, yeah, what, we're, uh, we're, what TG Live uh, screen are you in? Oh, oh, uh, I am in four, number four, I think. Oh, oh playing Tetris. I, I should have picked oh, that. Okay. That's okay. me playing Tetris. Oh. I'm actually right. settling right. it okay. on the screen. Okay. Nice. Nice. For so we can see you now. All right. Yeah, that's where that comes from. <laughs> I'm Luigi <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> got Teeter playing what? I've watched Snapchat. I've playing? seen other things happen on the screen. <laughs> What's up? I'm playing Luigi's Mansion for GameCube. Luigi's I just okay. finally got a GameCube. I know I'm about 14 years late. But yeah. Better, better late than never. Yes. Well, uh, well I know we're going to talk about it, but uh, the uh, Twin Galaxies Festival. Pretty off. Oh, oh, sweet. I forgot about the green screen. Film. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh look at that. Da -da 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 oh, we can reveal. Oh, look at that. Da -da 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 Time out real quick. All right, that's last. Oh, my gosh. All right, sorry, I got this. Right, I feel like we're on like a script of lot ticket right now. Yeah. The Twin Galaxies Festival like happened the, last week. in Major League. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, of course, we're talking about Settle on the Screen, so we're more about the competition aspect. Actually, we have two winners with us, Joe and uh, Don. Nice. They're in Twin Galaxies Live 3 and 4. We'll, we'll talk shortly about the NES especially. I mean, me and Joe can talk about the Intellivision for a little bit. Um, but it was a really cool ex uh, experience playing in 
being there, Walter, Billy, you know, all, you know, all the usual Todd. bad risers. <clears throat> um, but what was really nice about this Twin Gal, I, we've been to a lot of Twin Galaxy gatherings, yeah, yeah. You know, trading events. Walter had the Big Bang when they tried to make the Hall of Fame in Ottumwa uh, four or five years ago. Oh, yeah, you were um, there. This was finally <laughs> the first event that kind of revolved around high scores or competition. Oh, and that's what's Switch. been missing since the Mall of America competitions that Walter yeah. did like in 2001, 2002. So, oh, was it, I mean, you got to hand it to Jason Company uh, to, to put on this event. It was very cool. It was in a cool place. Like I said, pinball was awesome. If you guys haven't been to the Pinball Hall of Fame in Banning, California, when they Arcade Expo, and I think there's another event this year. Oh. Uh, don't quote me um, when it is, but you got to visit. January. It's January. Oh, it's so, that, so, that's so the it is expo. the Arcade Expo. That's the expo. I, thought there's, I think there's another that event before awesome. the end of the year. Uh, just this it's just one guy's personal collection that he allows for the yes. public to see and there's just so many pinballs it's like all the pinballs that we're gonna maybe play here today are, yeah. and it's just it's ridiculous and there's quite a few arcade games um i don't think there's as many as galloping ghosts okay. but they do have a lot of other games but regardless back to the swing galaxies if you guys didn't watch this weekend um it was a lot of fun Go on the Twitch stream. It might be on YouTube here shortly. I'm not sure if the staff is going to put it up as YouTube clips, but it was... <laughs> I really can't describe it, but it was finally... Fun. It was fun, and yeah, it's what Twin good. Galaxies has been missing for three three to four... Like oh, maybe six or seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know we do world record chasing on our own at homes and at some live events, but to go head-to-head -head one time, especially it wasn't just arcade. It was the NES, cool. uh, and then it was yeah, Atari, what did, you, what did you play? and then in television. So, I mean, so we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll talk about the winners. Um, Joe, you played in the television. How, how, did you, how did you like it? What did you think about it? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Um, the uh, Brickout was uh, not a super high-scoring game, but uh, overall it was pretty fun. Pinball kind of got us. I think it got a lot of people, though. Yeah, I, I guess uh, if we weren't familiar about the format, we talked about it last week. Basically, you just added all your scores up from each game. Ooh. And some games meant more because just based on the default scoring. For example, I won Breakout. <clears throat> but guess what? Did you really? Yeah. Oh, nice. I got first Congrats. place. Congrats. It was only 350 points. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> it was like... Isn't it all relative, though? I mean, wouldn't it be all relative? In no, a because you can get like 30,000 on pinball. I, I understand yeah. that, but I mean, that's what you can get on pinball. Yeah. And Brickell, you can't get that. Exactly. So, I mean, isn't it kind of relative? I understand what you're saying. It, it is relative. Be, from it would player be better to, player. to be better at pinball. The, the scoring exactly. wasn't relative, but. But it, it would because be relative, everyone plays but... the same game. Yeah, the right. competition was relative, but the, the comparison yeah. between each game, for example, we'll say Brickout counted for 2% of your score. I understand. So, yeah. in terms of playing it for three minutes, it's kind of. It, that wasn't really. I think that's I mean, kind of I the. Um, be it. That's the uh, Nintendo World Championship style too, that we mm -hmm. saw for like qualifying and stuff. And I think yeah, <clears throat> it. I think most people agree that it will probably be um, reconfigured for next year. Or do you think I'm uh, it'll be, it'll be presumptuous sweet. there? <laughs> I, I think it'll be no, tweaked. I, I, think it's, um, I think you're on point there. A lot of people are yeah. saying the same thing. Yeah, I mean, well, it was still fair among its competitors, but yeah, that's, it's that's all. It's kind of yeah. fair and it's kind of not, right? So, I've always, for instance, I mean, I've always heard a lot of good arguments between the percentage versus rank based, as far as you know, first, second, third versus hey, how what percentage of another person's score do you get in? So much of that just yeah. depends on the game, because some games yeah. it's ridiculously large to get just two seconds further. So, yeah, it, yeah, is that really fair? But, yeah, the whole just straight points across all the games, that's... So, for instance... I don't know, that's an interesting one. I'm a Tetris player. So the fact that Tetris was high scoring, I had an immediate advantage by virtue of the fact that I've been playing Tetris for 20 years, right? So it's fair, kind of, but it's also like, uh, not really. Well, see... It's the opposite it's of me. It's fair to Don, kind of. of. It's fair <laughs> to me. Yeah, exactly. I'm happy with that. But no, Mike. Being and honestly, it's, some games I, don't matter. Right. Exactly. exactly. Like Double Dragon. 
you can be the best double dragon player in the world, but it does it literally doesn't matter. It does. It, like, I mean, it does a great game. <laughs> we all know that. So it's. But hey, when all of a sudden you can get that much more out of any given game, I, I really liked the Intellivision one. I felt like most of the games were low scoring enough that it didn't make that much of a difference, you know. Um, but there were definitely some, some that were two or three yeah. times as much. <laughs> no, it's kind of how we do our tournament uh, when we have our video game championship. Next week on the show. Yes, exactly. One week away, starting. Um, but no, seriously, that's kind of what we always do. It's why we never did it quite like that. Every yeah. game is the same. It's every game. If you win first place, it's nine points. Second place, six points. Three points, one point. Mm -hmm. And that's every game. So if you're amazing, like, let's just bring it to that. If you're amazing at pinball and you destroy everybody, you get nine points. You get a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get nine points, which is good. Mm -hmm. But if you suck at all the other Intellivision games, you're going to get zero points. So therefore, if Mike is yeah. good at them, he gets six, six, three, and one. He's got more points. So, so more, more it, of an Olympic, yeah. Olympic, yeah. Olympic type. It's even. metal count. It's metal all, count. Exactly. Metal it's all count. even. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. It's not dependent on percentages. Totally. Everything is yeah. even. And that's the thing. There's the, you could go. You could do the percentage wise, or you do percentage of the score. Yeah. Whoever's first yeah. gets a hundred percent. I mean, yeah. there's many ways to do that. But and when you have more people than right. we do, it's a lot. It gets a and, little yeah. tricky. Yeah. Obviously. To be honest, if you if you could find a set of games that everybody could agree upon where percentage was okay, oh. then you would have a great <laughs> tournament because then it would be okay. But as soon as somebody smokes the whole field 100% to, you know, like 3%, we saw it at Fun Spot a bunch of times with, like, Timber. All of a sudden, you know, Martin Bedard puts in $2 million and everybody's 20000 means nothing, right? But then, on the, and then the next day, somebody puts in $4 million. Yeah, that's yeah. Of, that's Martin, why... just, Martin actually walked up to the guy and said, "I'll put it, just put in like two million and a little bit more than mine. You can have the game. Just you know, don't hang on to it that much longer. You know, there's no need to block it. I won't try to beat your score." The guy still sat there and put up double his score to make sure that nobody took it, and so that he could win that fifteen dollar, twenty five dollars, or whatever. Wow. Yeah, it's like just paying fifty dollars to do it. Percentage can definitely be a problem because then people are having trouble getting qualified by playing all the games. Everybody has to play every game to qualify, so this yeah. is all of a sudden that, the last day where they had to qualify in every game by putting in a score. And this guy, uh, I'm sorry, locks it down for about four hours. Yeah, and, and that's another thing that you bring up. Yes, we're talking about, well, if you play it that way, you lock it up, but then our way with the metal count it doesn't matter you you could still have that potential problem yeah you know no, you, you, yeah agree but I, oh, well, I guess if you're only playing, so far well no i take that back we were playing for three minutes we could have yeah. still played for three minutes yeah. and it exactly. was like no, the, the time limit is great yeah. only That's possible awesome. way. Yeah. only way a, <laughs> a percentage-based scoring system would work is if you had like hey these are the 10 games we all agree that they're percentage-based games yeah. we'll all stay that way yeah. but that's so hard to do. So the ranking system say, always works better. Metal count, ranking, no matter what you call it. And getting people, and honestly, that getting people to agree on 10 games. Well, well I, this, no, I mean, this, that's a tough, well, this is different, unfortunately. That's that's a battle in but it, so. Everybody will always have opinions, but yes. the experts pick the games in, in this weekend. It's not like we all voted or anything. No, no, that's what I mean. I'm, the experts picked 10 games, and that was, you, you know, you, have you can say that's like a crap that. game, that's a not crap game. I think what we're talking about, the issue was, is how they were scored. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. No, that I agree yeah. with. But the picking of the games is, when you have a video oh, game yeah, tournament, yeah. especially a bit, like, there's a lot, mm -hmm. even though it's only, you know, it's not 50 per system, but mm -hmm. it is a decent amount, there's always going to be a couple games Everyone is going to be like, oh, okay, that's not a good game. That's why you need a commissioner. No, it's true. It's yeah. true. It is. So you um, need to someone to be able to take the heat and be okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, let's definitely Thank reward you, these people um, and give them some fame, even though they already got it on the website. But, yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll Mike. talk about it if I know how to use a switcher. You do. Come on. You can do definitely. It. I believe in you, Mike. Oh, I've God. seen you use it. There, there you go. go. There you go. Congratulations there you go, to Hector Rodriguez. Uh, mm -hmm. One first place in television decathlon. Um, I sat next to him for the whole thing, and I just kept comparing myself. I'm like, yes, yes. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's <laughs> over. I lost. <laughs> so uh, Hector's a great guy. Many world records. Most of you know him 
famous for track and field records. Actually, he had one a few weeks ago. If you didn't hear his crazy <clears throat> fingers, go make sure you check out that. Uh, won twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Nice. So congratulations to him. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we may have him on the show. We, we've talked to him about a lot of things. Here's the top. Here's the top ten standings. John McAllister, uh, Asteroids World Record, got second. And Patrick Wyrick um, got third to round out the money. Joe. Got fourth, who's in our Twin Galaxies Live 3 channel. So who's number fifth? I don't know who's number five. <laughs> yeah, but uh, actually, and then down the list you go, actually, Tommy Tallarico, if many of you don't know who that is, does the uh, video games live orchestra. Yeah. Oh, he came okay. and played. He actually Very won cool. an, a separate tournament that uh, in television productions was doing for Astro. Oh, oh yeah. cool. So he won, awesome. I think he won a flashback and some other paraphernalia. So Tommy <laughs> was... Definitely a down about winning the Intellivision tournament, but he came up short. Dang, between you, <laughs> between you, Joe, and Nate, that is a crazy, like, then you guys were right there. Yeah, real close, but still out of the money. Yeah, so. yeah no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the uh, Astros <laughs> What's that, Don? Go ahead, Don. Talk? Talk, Don? Are we off? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're live. Okay, cool. We're good. Oh, no, just... hear you. There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, Tommy, uh, Telerica? Am I saying that right? I'm pretty sure he won the Astro Smash tournament or contest or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. He ate by yeah. like 30 points. You might, you might... Yeah. He beat you by how many points? Uh, uh, Patrick, I'm pretty sure Patrick Wyrick, I think it's like he got second. He lost by like 30 points to Tommy. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, oh, man. Dang. That's Astro yeah. Smash for you. Um, congratulations to Patrick, who nice. we just talked about. Good he man. won the Atari wow. uh, decathlon. It was a multiple world. Uh, well, actually, I, I'm I'm doing this wrong today. What? We should be playing the interviews that I interviewed these guys afterwards. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So uh, congratulations to Patrick. We actually spoke with him. Yes. And so give me one second here if I learn how to use stuff. So here's the interview we had with him. That could play cartridges. I can't hear anything. Can you guys hear? Nope. <laughs> okay. And maybe that we're just not in. We're just not in. It was a uh, classic gaming expo event uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, someone had created this new cartridge for the Atari 2600 and was offering it up as a prize to whoever got the highest score on it. Oh. And I had managed to do that. So oh, I, I won the cartridge. Awesome. And First the game, record. Was it like the first time it was ever played by like some public? Right, oh, right. That's, that was the, that was the release oh. of the game. And also, that's like that's like the wizard from NES, <laughs> Super Mario 3. First time down playing, you mastered it. That's awesome. Or I don't know if you mastered it, but yeah, I did well you for did picking it up oh. from the very start. Oh, that's very cool. Except, I, you know, there aren't a whole lot of those cartridges in circulation. Right. There really hasn't been any attempts at my world record. Of course, now, now someone will. Now, yeah, thanks. This but I have up. the cartridge, so I can still do better. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty fun for sure. So, uh, hi, uh, did you do any practice for this uh, Atari 2600 tournament? Yeah. So I started practicing as soon as I found out what the competition uh, would entail. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been practicing as much as I can of all 40 games for oh, okay. the four different decathlons that are happening this weekend. That's right. And you did come in third place for the Intellivision. Third place yeah. for Intellivision. Okay, so you're still up for the Grand Slam, I'm calling it. I so was Hector. Yeah. yeah. Everybody is, actually. Yeah, so uh, I practice quite a bit, more so for Intellivision and Atari than I did for uh, NES. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how well I'm going to do today. Mm -hmm. uh, getting my old console to actually play games has been trying. Oh, so that's my question. You practiced on the original Atari. I, I tried to. Oh, oh, I no, well, no, no. Atari and Intellivision, I got flashback units okay. because they had the, all of the games that we were playing here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't own all of those cartridges. Mm -hmm. And with NES, I actually tried to get my old system working. Mm -hmm. wouldn't work. Had to buy a, a retro unit that could play cartridges, mm -hmm. and I got to play maybe seven of them. Okay. 
Well, cool. Well, excellent. So you got a few more games. Congratulations to you. Two Thank prizes. You. Got two to go. Maybe we'll be talking mm -hmm. to you a little bit later. Um, so uh, thanks very much. Thank you. you have a good, good luck today. Very cool. No, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we, we we almost forgot. We have to shameless plug, but we have to plug our sponsors. Uh, though that interview and the following interviews were brought to you by Sather's. Mmm, cherry slices and and juju fish. Mm. This was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, check them out. Look at that. Look at that price. Two for a buck fifty. We get them for free, but you I mean, for. a buck fifty is basically free at this point when it comes to food. But if you're hungry after your meal and you want something sweet, go get some sailors. Mm -mm -mm. Juju fish and cherry slices. And if you need to host a show and you need to talk, Juju Fish, not the best idea. Not the best the idea. The cherry not slices enough. on the other hand, a lot more forgiving. So cool. we'll, we'll go back to that. Yep. Uh, kind of, We're going to go. Uh, kind of, sorry. Hector? We got our pan panties in a bunch. Yeah, right whatever. There, but, uh, oh, that's not it. But uh, that picture, well, you can't get old. Yeah. I never get sick yeah, of looking so at that. Congratulations to Patrick. I had a nice conversation of him with him. And uh, we'll look at the other rundown. I did like the Atari one. Oh. I, was, I was just... I just played with it for fun because many, of, if any of you know or follow us on Facebook, um, yeah, there is an asterisk. Uh oh, there. what is an asterisk? What there. happened? We'll get like, to that shortly. You got for blood um, doping. <laughs> yes. yeah. I, I didn't actually play in this one. You didn't turn the sample was, in on time. <laughs> uh, I was just goofing around with Todd Rogers and I dressed up as him, but I actually I can't believe that I like <laughs> so great. Like placed that well, I guess. No, that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, Patrick won. Now, originally, uh -oh. John McAllister was the champion, okay. but it's a little goofy, there's an understanding that he was tapping, and, and Yars, Re Yars Revenge was the last game. Okay. And um, to get back to life, you know, when you die, you, you keep pushing the button frantically. Yeah. Well, he ran out of lives, John McAllister, and he Ooh. started another game. Okay. Mm. So that's that's where the asterisk comes in. That's the he, score. Did he not realize he had started another life? He didn't. He he didn't remember. So he had okay. to talk to the referees okay. that were why. I mean, he was just playing. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, you're, you're playing for three minutes. And Definitely. You know you're in the running. You're just trying to go as fast oh, as cool. possible. So that's what happened. So that's why we have a higher score for John, because the score was from his second game, because mm. we didn't. Didn't have the score of the first game, so that's what the asterisk is. I love asterisks. Oh, asterisks there's, are there's always huge there's, fan. there's always fun that. So as you see again, it's the same three gamers from first through third: Patrick, John, and Hector. So Hector got um, third there. Okay. And uh, Joe and Don, who are, again, who are with man. us, inched me out on Atari, followed by Rudy Ferretti and Andrew Gardick has actually came in. Look at all these names, yeah. man. I know it's I know. The real, the real winner here is Hector, though. Real winner, Hector. Oh yeah, he tore up. Good, I was gonna Hector. wait until next to talk. I was gonna wait until the NES to talk about it. But speaking of Hector, we also talked to Hector after the Intellivision yes. uh, tournament as well. So awesome. we do have another interview with Sweet. us. So brought you, to you by Sather. Yeah, brought to you by Sather. That's right. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Hi everybody, Michael Soroka here for Settle on the Screen. I'm along here with Hector Rodriguez, um, world uh, record holder, right? On how many games? Uh, the main ones would probably be Track and Field, Hypersports, uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh, those are probably the most well-known ones. Most well -known ones. Bike, bike also. You can, you can search them on the database if you want to look at all those other scores or if you want to knock them down. Uh, definitely got to take. A, I love watching you play or hearing you play hearing Track the, and Field. The machine gun. The machine gun sound. Yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I, hopefully, I, I, don't, I know you got two more competitions yeah. to go to, uh, to hopefully do the uh, Grand Slam, I'd like to call it, because Hector here uh, won the Intellivision tournament, the one I was trying to win, uh, put up a great score on Buzz Bombers, um, got a pretty decent score, very consistent play from you, Hector. Uh, any, do you do any practice at all? Um, actually, yeah, I, I, I practiced uh, all 10 games. Uh, fairly consistently. I was doing the three-minute the three minute timer thing just like we were doing here. And I will do them in random order because I didn't know what order we were going to play them in. And I, 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 I think I went through all ten games once or twice a day. So not, not a whole lot, but uh, but it added up. And then, uh, 12, but, $150 it added up. Yeah, and then the two games I actually played a little more than just, just you know, and I, I do the whole rotation of ten. 
but then I'll play a little more Buzz Bombers and a little more Vectron, and, and those, those are what it paid off. Those are actually the ones I was practicing, too. I never owned Vectron. <laughs> I also think, we had a new television, I'm assuming. Yeah. We still have a few. Did you practice on the Flashback, or did you practice on the Intellivision? I started on the Intellivision, and when I saw the game list, and I bought a couple games on eBay so I could practice them, and everything was just happening too slow, so then I went and bought a flashback. Flashback, yeah. and they're great to kind of have if you yeah. go on a road trip. Because my televisions, I got like six of them, and I just gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta piece them together to keep them working and yeah. stuff like that. Um, so very cool, excellent. You also, I think, got third place on the Atari one. Yeah, as third well. place on the Atari. I, I kind of played in that one just, uh, just a little bit, but uh, very exciting. Congratulations to you. So two for four, and you do plan on playing the next two, right? The NES, yes, yeah, and yeah. the arcade. Excellent. So thank you, Hector. All right, awesome, thank you. nice job. Congratulations. We're back. We are. I think we're back. Yeah. Hey, there we go. So that was Hector. And of course, he won the Intellivision one. That kind of worked out that I screwed it up those interviews sure. because we talked about Intellivision. I didn't interview him later. Um, so if you want to. And uh, so based on this stuff, and then that was Friday. Yes. Friday was a lot of fun. It was a slow day at the festival. I don't know if you guys watch the broadcast, but it's travel day. And yep. if you live like Thursday night in baseball, and if you yeah. live in LA or something, it, you're not going to drive through traffic and no. buy a ticket Never. for a couple hours. It was just, it was the people who were there hardcore were there Thursday more or less. But then Saturday was, of course, a lot more people. Um, and then we had the other. Come on, Michael. Where you at, Mike? The other. The NES Decathlon, uh, which Joe and Don from last week said they were winning, but then they forgot about Hector again. Dang, man. <laughs> yeah, so he, he, this guy, he, he wins three. Got wow. first place, Hector again. Congratulations wow. to him. Holy and then congratulations uh, as well to Don and Joe. Oh, yes. Who are in our chat. Got second and third. Oh, Jesse got fourth too. Cool. Mm -hmm. Man, nice. So yes. kind of Jesse killed it, man. He did real well. He did, yeah. He did very well. Wow. What, what, what game do you regret the most, Don? Oh. Why didn't you win? You know, um, <laughs> probably, I think Joe and I are going to have the same answer there. I think it's Gradius. Uh, it's pretty, am I right, Joe, that I call it? Oh, yeah, yeah. If I would have got the warp, I would have won. That would have yeah, made up the I, I almost got the warp, and um, I didn't. <laughs> Basically, I got distracted. Someone was talking about somebody's scores behind me, and I just lost it for a second, and that was enough. That is the it was really key frustrating because I practiced the heck out of it to make sure I could do it consistently, and it wasn't like I screwed up and, and you know, I just wasn't paying attention to my score, which is important for the warp. You, you basically have to hit the little enemy generators when your score is a specific thing, and I didn't get hit, but... I lost it, so I was very sad. Mm. Yes, but that was a very fun competition. It was a, yeah. a lot. As you look at the top ten there, <clears throat> there's a few more competitors there. As yeah. you see, they're pretty even spaced out. No, it is yeah. pretty good. So that was pretty. Yeah, Fanatic from Twin Galaxies uh, live channel yeah. here did pretty good as well. Cool. Uh, Mr. Ferretti in fifth, and even John McAllister rounded out the tenth. Uh, he, he played in all of them. Yeah. Uh, most people didn't play in all of them mm -hmm. uh joe did you play in the arcade no i, can't no, I was i knew okay. i was gonna get smoked in that one seems so. like yeah there's only one or two people who played in all of them because after this hector bowed out he didn't play in the arcade oh. one, so why yeah. would he need he didn't need so we should probably well, he wanted to have fun kind of all of those. yeah basically <laughs> we talked to him for on air a little bit and it was like yeah i kind of want to play something else or just yeah. relax for a while because it was grueling how dare around. him want to have fun yeah man. i know i mean he, i mean he made he worked all right Selfish he made like 3200 bucks or something i don't know <laughs> Mr. Question Mark so, didn't do too bad. So, did you guys put that money in a yeah, traditional Jake, well, IRA so you guys don't have to pay taxes man, man. on it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm saving up. Uh, it's my pro gaming career, basically. So, you know. Oh, okay. okay. So I spent it That's immediately, fine. I guess what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Was it, was it your baggage claim <laughs> money? Yeah. Right, exactly. It's like I, if I didn't win it, I wasn't coming <laughs> back. So I'm glad that I won something. Because I couldn't yeah, afford the that's, return that's ticket. That's good pressure. Yeah. So, yeah. You just yeah. overdraft the crap out of your account, so you're just so in the hole, you have to win. That's the exactly. Best way to do. It was more, it was more my wife's like, don't come back unless you, you know, can pay off some of this so stuff. So. Your shield are on it, sir. Yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. I got to handle that's exactly. right now, is what he's saying. 
I know you guys traveled quite a bit a uh, distance too. You guys flew in, I, I assume. Um, Jesse Perfect. Porter, man, that 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 guy he drove awesome. in, yeah. from Texas. He drove in, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So he, he, he had a long, oh, exhausting. Long so like he drove for ten hours and then left Texas and then drove some more. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> right. much. So, oh man. So and that was that was a very cool competition. <laughs> and then some people like to say the main event. Of course, was later that night. We had about 35 uh, competitors oh, on the arcade decathlon, hey. which was a little bit different because we only had one machine of everything. We didn't have 10 centipede hmm. machines, so it was, a, yeah. it was a little bit different. And if you guys watched the broadcast, we made it exciting <clears throat> because John McAllister actually went last. Um, so we were right, able yeah. to compare. Ooh, you his, put all the pressure on him. Yeah, I think you did on purpose too. Yeah, plan. And nice. it was planned, and we could. We were estimating from the broadcast couch what he needed to finish it out, and it was a lot of fun watching That's him cool. from that angle. That's great. Um, and and, I did well, like and Ben the, Gold went first, and got like the best score, and he set the the pace basically. He did set so the I pace. Uh, I don't know if you mentioned that. So it was really exciting because Ben Gold, basically the first place guy, went first, and then uh, John McAllister went last. So it was like, it's you know, it was, yeah. it was a nail biter. It was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, it was very, yeah. very cool to watch. Um, that's close so, from top to bottom. Yeah, though. exactly. That's pretty good. Yeah, so from the weekend, there's a picture of all you guys who won. It was very cool. Um, McAllister kind of just spanked it. Ben Gold was good. And, oh, we did lose a game, though. Um, oh, really? Was it? Oh, yeah, centip- we lost. Um, we lost centipede. We had millipede. I, okay. I spoke earlier. Which I think would have put Ben over the top. Yeah, I think it would have gave Ben the the edge. I've seen some and, video of him playing yeah, that. Yeah. So, well, I mean, he yeah, did well. He, won. Yeah, yeah. he got the first place at Millipede. Mm. I think he would have got enough points to. Who knows? It might have changed the rest of the you know <clears throat> forecast there of the scores. But uh, awesome for Ben. Ben said. Yeah. I mean, he's been playing arcade games, but in terms of like a competition, yeah. like, you know, fun spots have arcade things and. There used to be old Twin Galaxy. Ben hasn't really played in anything tournament-wise for over 30 years. Wow. So that's really yeah. So it wow. just shows you don't you don't lose it more or less. Evidently. You know? so, yeah. So John got the big prize money, uh, followed by Ben Gold, uh, Rick Smith actually, another competitor who used to compete a long time ago. Okay. Defender kind of just player. Played. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Defender. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, cool. I I hate to say this. I don't know who Steve T is. I'm Steven sorry. Tyler, right? No. It's no. Not. Okay. <laughs> you know how annoying he'd be. Every time he yeah. jump a bat, <laughs> <laughs> he's officially banned. Actually, it was a uh, that tied yeah. a stupid. Was there like a scarf to the joystick? Oh yeah. Not even, <laughs> there's not even like you know low ceilings. Like there's not even breathing room in here. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. Like, uh, that was a stretch. I apologize. <laughs> Why didn't you guys stop? Uh, okay. Oh, I can't see the screen. I thought I thought Steve Tyler was actually in the studio there no. for a second. I was convinced. <laughs> Um, Patrick Wyrick. Patrick, Patrick probably played it all before. He might have been. I, somebody asked earlier in the chat if you added all the scores up, who did the best? Patrick might be up there. I was actually um, just thinking that. Well, I mean, John played in all of them too, so um, I, I might have been Patrick or probably McAllister. Jack G- Gale actually played a world record holder for a long time. Uh, Eric Olfelson, if I'm saying that correctly. Alpine skiing world record from like 1983. Really? At eighth place. Oh, wow. And then uh, second place and soon to be King of Kong again, Robbie Lakeman uh, rounds out the top 10. He had over about Mm. 31, 33 competitors for this one, and it was just a line. So you guys can go to to twitch.tv slash Twin Galaxies, look at highlights. You can probably watch all the footage. I'm not sure if uh, Twin Galaxies can put up on YouTube, but... uh, it is very fun. You can watch me talk about nothing and not an expert <laughs> for sure. Very cool, though, the, the uh, Atari. Uh, the so they seem to be playing some kind of game, and uh, they're trying to score points. Yeah. And that's my that's my Soroka that's awesome. impression. But, uh, Todd, <laughs> Rogers, Todd Rogers did a great job. Uh, Keith Rich, Richards from Intellivision. A lot of, uh, Richard, uh, I'm not saying it right. Oh. But he had lots of... Um, but Lots of little, dur- it's very interesting because he'll talk about each game hmm. and like the programmers and what's going on in there and that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. Oh, so cool. They're very cool to watch. I mean, they are long, but they are exciting and it was great. And hopefully next time it'll be bigger, yeah, that's bigger, cool. better. And, and, and actually, can sick. I say to Mr. Soroka that um, yep. he did a great job sure. of stepping in because the original announcer could not make it, Mr. Mazark. So, mm. nice going, Mike. So, Thanks. Mike stepped it up 
and I, uh, it, got it done. It was pretty fun doing it, but I was I was completely honest with you guys or whoever was watching the broadcast. I'm like, all right, Gorf. I have no idea about Gorf. I don't care. I think it's a stupid game. I, I have no golf. analysis I for Gorf. Golf. I was going to say, where you were like, he's the golfer, right? Like, they're short guy. guy. I was just like, <laughs> that's not my game. I don't like it. Where's Todd Rogers? I know he, was, he is the world record holder, former world record holder. So is there pictures Dorf of on you? Gorf? Is that... Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Don has a bunch of pictures. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, um, uh, Data God. Um, yeah, let's talk more about Data Guy. Data Guy was there, of course, taking pictures. The art, the uh, you go on Facebook. I don't know if he's gonna upload them to Twin Galaxies or stuff, but there is a lot of awesome pictures cool. of all of us playing the games, the tournaments. <laughs> he did an awesome job. Uh, there's lots of stuff. Oh, uh, and somebody brought that up. Somebody says you got married. Um, I forgot to put what? the picture. Somebody got married. Really? At the yep. um, at at the event. At the event. Billy and Walter were the best man or, wow. guess, or maid of honor, or, or just the witnesses. <laughs> yeah, at Did the, you, were you the priest? I mean, were no, you the father? I didn't know this happened until oh, afterwards. Okay. Yeah, so um, so that's what happens at the Twin Galaxy. No festival. kidding. Marriage, cash giveaway, Dang. and pinball. You know, and yeah. so, oh. It was a lot of fun. I had fun with you guys there, too. And it was nice meeting you guys in person too for the first time. What was your, what was your favorite part? Like seriously, of the whole meeting term. Don probably. No, I'm just getting that, <laughs> echo, getting that, echo that consolation cart, man. I did get, <laughs> so I great. did, yeah, I did get uh, an echo cart that. from Joe. Thank you so much. Like I said, oh, I don't own right. it for the Genesis. I only own it for the Sega CD. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for that autograph too. Uh, that that's actually that that's that was a good moment because I was totally surprised. Another uh, awesome moment. Um, uh, his name's Hector. I don't know his real name, but his oh, name's like, Hector. Like he oh, like, makes these yeah, top, top 10 MVP Atari. Yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> he uh, that's he place. makes cart he makes cartoon drawings of a lot of us, of Walter. Oh, really? Uh, a lot of people, and he puts them on Facebook. And he hands me this picture, and he's like, no, "I want you to dude. sign it." And it was like it was very very cool, like a culture thing. I was like, that that was pretty Dude, cool. That's cool as hell. Um, of course, seeing Walter again is always fun. Oh yeah. Um, and, so, and, and meeting the have... and meeting all the Twin Galaxies people back in LA who do the tremendous Everything. job that they do of mm. the broadcast, uh, the website. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like I said, in, in my opinion, this is my opinion, not anybody else's, but they saved Twin Galaxies the past year. So I, you got I I didn't say that to him in person, but. Uh, hats off to all of them. Jace Hall, too. I know he's like, oh, Soroka giving me credit again, but <laughs> you, you got to hand it's it to true. him. They've done a great job these pa this past year. So, um, But cool. It was fun. Can't yeah. wait for the next one. No, that's awesome. that'll be. So. Is there talk of it being in the same spot? Or? I don't know. Okay. Just more stuff to come. And probably, I don't know if, uh, if, if Neo's listening, is Jace Hall coming on after us tonight? She should, based on his old schedule, but. Maybe Jay Saul will talk about it on State of the Galaxies coming up next here after Settle It on the Screen. Yes. So oh. was the pinball gaming-wise your favorite part still? Yeah, because like I barely one? played anything. Like, there was a bunch of arcade machines. Yeah. Oh, I played Zookeeper. Wow. Because I've never played Zookeeper on the arcade. Yeah, before. you know, honestly, I haven't. So other than that, you know, I mean, I, I tried to burn a few Donkey Kong. You tried. Yeah. <laughs> were you walking with the They were well lighter protected, people? though. Yeah. They, they were well protected. Damn it. And I did want someone to beat Steve Sanders to 3.2 million. Oh, seconds. definitely. So I was only trying to burn the machines with the proper ROM set. Mm, so. okay. Well, that's the ones you want to get rid of anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can change the other ones back. Yeah, I know. But, but, I mean, but they're already set. I mean, yeah. but work. it's so much work. Yeah. So oh, this is not easy. Yeah. So it was, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty awesome. And that's cool. You guys got to make it out to these events, regardless. I know it might be a trek, you might have to fly cross country, yeah. uh, but it really, if you're really in the community, you submit records, it's really nice to meet the people in person. Like you said, you barely do any. The reason why we did so much gaming is we had competitions this yes. time. Otherwise, you really don't. Yeah. You're talking about the games and what you're doing mm -hmm. and meeting people and just learning about them, and that's the, that's the best part about the whole thing. Yeah. No, I was to say that's why those that's why going to events like that is fun. It has nothing to do with the video games. Right. I mean, this, bad, but yeah. you know what yeah, I mean. I know you, you know, know what I mean. The, it's not fun because you usually don't come back and go, "Was it fun? Yeah, it was great. I played Gradius." <laughs> like, no, you can play Gradius at home. It's yeah. fun because you finally get to meet everybody. Yeah, I, I felt bad because I kind of said something like that. At yeah. The, uh, I mean, it was awesome. The Man vs. Snake documentary was yeah. kind of screened, and I I, oh. I I don't know who I said it to. Maybe I said it to Walter, but I was like. I was like, this is competition. It was during, like, 
the NES towards the end of it or yeah. the beginning of the arcade. I'm like, why would I want to go watch a movie right now? I said it like <laughs> yeah. really what? mean to somebody. I mean, I want to see that movie, but I'm like, uh, I'm not going to. There's all this other stuff going on. Yeah. 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 I saw the beginning of the movie. It looks like a really good movie. But... <laughs> what I said. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, I, I do want to see it, but it was yes. like. Mm. No, I agree with you. It's, it's like, kind of always. It's the first always gaming movie. competition. Well, I actually, Ooh, what, what, actually, okay. You karaoke? Karaoke? No, it wasn't okay. Uh, but you did ask me the question. I never answered it. I know. My favorite part yes. was doing the broadcast. Oh, okay. On the arcade. That was definitely my favorite part. That's was cool. watching everybody. Cool. No. As you know, this is why we do the show. Totally. You know, that was like the best part of going to the NHL 94 tournament, mm -hmm. honestly, is when we got to do that. That was a blast. The broadcast. We're broadcasters, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, that's, that's what's Love video game. But no, seriously, Don and Joe, what was your favorite part of the trip? Um, I'll let Joe answer. That's tough. Don, you go first. Uh, yes! I really like the NES competition. Uh, that was my favorite part, no question. I, I, I thought I'd be nervous, um, and I was kind of nervous, but mostly I just enjoyed it. Um, so, I mean, I thought that was the coolest part. And the, the, the second coolest thing, or probably tied, I'm going to say, uh, was just meeting everybody, like you guys were saying. It's meeting all the people in person. It, it's very different. It's very cool. You feel like you get to really know people. I got to um, I got to meet Walter, and when he first got there, and he and I just walked around the the pinball section, and he was telling me about pinball games, and it was just it was cool, it was really neat. Did he offer you any soup? Oh man, I know he did not. He did what? not. I met, I, met, I met like everybody though. I met not just Walter though. I met uh, Billy Mitchell, and he signed a, a thing for me, and I, I saw uh, Richie Knuckles, and just like all these people that you you know but you don't know. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that didn't make any experience. sense. But <laughs> yeah, in person is always a far. Yeah, we're connected Very electronically, different. but then it's a lot cooler when you meet you, you in person. Oh yeah, yeah. So, it's truly like turn. a once in a lifetime thing, you know, because it's like, wh when are you ever going to get this opportunity again? So I'm really. It was expensive for me because I flew from uh, DC there, but it's it's literally I'll, I'll never so, get another chance. So potentially, so. I mean, hopefully I will, but, you know. Definitely. Yeah, you never know. Well, and the same people might not be there. You know, right, exactly, case. exactly. Yeah. Well, they had Me and Nick are getting fired next week. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, thank well, God. Well. <laughs> we'll have God. more time for NHL 94. <laughs> yes! Um, Jim, we, your turn, Joe. What was your favorite part? Uh, probably meeting Sean. Uh, Sean Vincent and watching him put that score on the uh, puzzle bobble. Because that oh, was yeah, crazy. Cool. That was crazy. I mean, I didn't see him. We just walked up to him. Like, oh, <laughs> like I love I love games like that because it looks like he's doing terrible. And then he right. shoots just one thing and then the entire thing falls apart. It's it's nuts. Oh, yeah. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. It's very that cool. That's one Dragon Slayer with Jesse because that was yeah, absolutely insane. So, ooh, not the part about you beating me in off road. I was gonna say I thought that was coming. Oh, yeah, I... That was fun. That was fun. I mean, yeah, the intelligence thing but... is pretty good. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say about like, masculinity. Oh yeah, that was normal. I mean, I was assuming that was gonna happen. <laughs> I do that every week. Yeah. Right. Mike was just my latest victim. <laughs> so, so make sure you guys go to the website, check all this stuff out, and like I said, uh, Jace Hall is coming up next on Save the Galaxies. Like I said, he's talked about in the past weeks. There's more things to come. Uh, so make sure you get that. Submit, submit, submit to the Twin Galaxies database because it might be a qualifying for Ooh. some other tournament. You might not be like, for example, we all just went and everybody gets to play. Yeah. It might be you have to be invited to play. So basically build up your player skill index score is what I think it's called. And uh, you never know what's going to happen. Yes. Or just get a world record in your favorite game. So twingalaxies.com. Or just do it for fun. If you yeah, want. do it for fun. If you want fourth no, place. No, not for fun. No yeah, fun. Never fun. This isn't fun. Video games are for fun. <laughs> that's what losers so, say. Exactly. That's why I always say it. <laughs> that's, that's why I say it. That's why I didn't win any money this weekend. This place does not bad. Didn't win any money. Yeah, no, Losing. Yeah. No, I'm just joking. What's money? <laughs> What's money, really, when it comes down to it? Yeah. <laughs> So, wow, well, we got a minute or two. Yeah. Um, next week, 
This will be chaos. It will be crazy. You see here, the green yes. screen's gone because we are preparing for what's called the video game championship, which hopefully Jace Hall will buy and staple <laughs> as the future tournaments for yes. all the video games. Um, a few of us, all three of us, will be competing yes. on 50 to 60 different systems, playing against each other for the next 48 hours. We'll still talk about the Twin Galaxies database, but this will be a crazy mess, and you might see people playing against each other. We'll try to clue you in on what's the craziness going on in this whole room. Um, so that will be next week. So if you want to leave out next week, well, make sure you watch it on YouTube. You know, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. We're making sure everybody's wearing clothes this time, right? We're trying yes, okay. we our broadcast. We're I'm just working making on sure. It. I'm just checking. It's tough. Yeah. You know, you know what Ed doesn't like to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Underwear and everything else. Yeah, so one of those can't keep me covered. It's okay. It's one of those. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> and somebody will roll somebody will win the holy grail of video games. Oh, it trophies, is yes it is. The Soroka console. Lord Soroka's cup. Yeah, or no console. console. Yeah, yep. it's the uh, it's, it's the trophy you want your name on if you're a video game player. It's true. Yep, it is. Yep. Mine was on it once. Yep. Uh, a large group effort that I played almost no part in, but right. <laughs> the name's on it. Yeah. We'll have it here next week. We'll show it off. It was the Aaron War. If you guys want to play it? And uh, so, for Mike, <laughs> thanks for coming by. Yeah, yeah man, it's awesome. So uh, we well, actually didn't play any video games this week. Yeah. yeah. This is that, that's kind of it. That's you know? like my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> I've wanted They're to on. I hooked it up. It's I on. love video games, but yeah. I don't have time to play them. Yeah. You gotta have a job to buy video games, but you don't have time to play them because you got a job. It's the irony of being an adult. Yeah. I can afford them now, but I don't have the time. time yeah. Host Nick Halsander, yep. Joe and Don, and three and four. Th Twin Galaxies.